Okay, so to begin the Dollar Tree haul, I figured I'd start with the items that I purchased at the first Dollar Tree, which pretty much was the food items. So to begin, I picked up this package of peanut butter wafers from Vortman Bakery. I have tried different flavors before, but have never tried the peanut butter wafers, so I'm excited to give these a try. It says they are baked with real peanut butter, no artificial colors or flavors, and no high fructose corn syrup. I picked up a couple products from Neri. The first is this mixed bean salad. Now I normally purchase my beans dried and then soak them, but if I do see some that are in glass jars like this, I do like to give them a try. I've never tried any brand from Neri. Um, this is a product of Italy and here on the side it says product made with a hundred percent green energy so these look really yummy I also picked up a couple of these vegetable antipasto now both jars do have 314 milliliters in them and um, these look delicious as well I then picked up three jars of the sandwich sliced pickles with garlic and they are from Breckenridge Farms. There is 500 mils in here and I was running low. I saw them so I picked up a few. We do make our own tomato sauce but from time to time I do pick up these um, tomato sauces that are in these glass jars like this. Um, if I'm running low or sometimes just to stretch it out I'll use one of my own um, jars of sauce and mix it with this one so they had the sauce from Itel Pasta string tomatoes and there is 680 mils in here again product of Italy and I did like this it is vegan friendly but also because it says no salt added I do not use table salt, I use the Himalayan pink salt, so this way I can add my own salt to it and I really do enjoy this one from Ital Pasta. I finally decided to pick up these thermal bags. Um, I've seen them from time to time, I don't always see them, but a lot of times when I go into the city I do pick up items that need to be refrigerated and I always forget to bring my cooler with me but my cooler is a larger cooler so if you want something that's not so bulky but you do want something to make sure that your items are either staying hot or cold um, this is a great option I've never tried them before and because I did pick up some items that needed to be refrigerated I thought that this would be a good time to test it out and I was pleasantly surprised it really did keep everything nice and cold. I like it as well because it is reusable and it says no ice needed and it holds up to 30 pounds. So again, I was pleasantly surprised. The bag is kept together by these snaps. When you open it up, it's just white inside. But it does stay, once you snap everything together, it does keep it nice and sealed. And again, it did keep everything nice and cold. So I did pick up three of these. I picked up two of these glass vases. Now normally the ones that I always see at my Dollar Tree are normally probably about up to here. So I was really happy to see these because they are taller as well they um, do go wider at the top so I just thought these were really pretty and I picked up two and then I picked up these which I've not seen before um, it is called a trifle container great for catering parties and special occasions so it is plastic but um, great option to use it for as they have here on the picture they have some gumballs in there but you can use these for candy dishes and I just think they are really cute. So I picked up two of these as well. So I can't believe how quickly the Fairy Garden 
items have gone this year. I don't know whether they will be restocking or not, but I can remember from last year when I heard that they came out, I didn't get to the Dollar Tree right away. I went a couple days later and everything was gone and they did not restock last year. Um, once they were gone, they were gone. So I don't know if they will restock again this year. I was only able to find a couple of fairy garden figurines. Now I know I've heard from people that they, um, from some friends that they've gone and they can't find anything and I knew that they would go quick. So I was glad to pick up these two packages. They both are the same, but um, this one has the owl, the snail, and the turtle. I also picked up three packages of the AAA Sunbeam Alkaline Batteries. Normally I would pick up the Sunbeam, the white packages, and I believe of the AAA there were six in the package. Um, these ones only have four, but I do find that these ones here last a little bit longer. So I've now switched to the Alkaline and I'm really liking these. I then came across some magnets. Now I was so excited to see that these ones here are from Russ. And I do like the magnets from the Dollar Tree. I really think that they have some really great magnets. However, a lot of times I find that when I put them on my fridge, they do tend to slide. Um, the magnet is not very strong. But these ones here, they stay on the fridge very nicely. They're also not so heavy. They're pretty thin, but um, they're a nice size, and I love the colors, and I love the sayings and the fonts on these as well. So I did pick up eight. Some I have out of the package and some in. This one says, may our home be warm and our friends be many. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. When life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, show it that you have a thousand reasons to smile. Friendship doubles our joy and divides our grief. I really like the colors on this one. It is important to laugh for no reason at all. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And then this last one says, life is what you make it. Okay, so the last items that I will be showing you are all seasonal items. So to begin with, I picked up two of these garden flags. Now they had different designs, but this one was the one that I love the most. And it just says, welcome at the top. It has this really adorable birdhouse with a couple of hummingbirds and the white picket fence with flowers. Really pretty. I then picked up a couple of these erasers. Now I didn't know they were erasers at first. I just seen little bunnies and thought that they were adorable. But you do get eight in a pack. So I thought those were super, super cute. I also picked up two packages of these felt stickers and they have bunnies and little chicks inside. They have white, pink, and purple bunnies with bow ties on them, and then on their bow ties and their eyes, they're actually little sticker gems. And I thought they were really cute as well. I picked up, these were the only two that I saw, and I was glad that I was able to get what looks like the um, male and the female chick and this one here has the little 
scarf wrapped around her head, so cute. And then this one has his little hat on, adorable. And they seem to be um, a little jewelry box. You could possibly put this by your kitchen sink or in your bathroom or in your room. Just really cute. And what I noticed um, is that on the top and bottom of the egg there is a band. So here you can see this one has a blue band that joins. But probably whoever purchased um, a set of this didn't maybe realize it and so this one here has pink on the top and blue on the bottom so if you do see them and are interested in picking them up if that would bother you just make sure you look out to you know to, to see that you get the top and the bottom the same color but they're super cute then I picked up these egg shaped candles these are 2.62 inches high and they came in five different colors that I saw. So here is this purpley pink, green, blue, this kind of um, coral, kind of orangey color and then yellow and I thought these were cute and I probably won't light them I'll just really use it more for decor I thought they were really cute then I came across these little chalkboard bird houses with a little bird on top and they have a, a closed pit peg in the back or closed pin and I didn't check this out I just noticed this now but there is a little round um, what might be a magnet on the back let's see if it hmm. I'm not sure but I thought these were really cute and I did see four different ones so here is the purple bird the blue bird the green bird and a pink bird so I thought those were really cute and then I was on the hunt for what I've been seeing hauled in the um, US are these really adorable bunny baskets and they look like a canvas type basket and they have floppy ears on each side but I haven't seen uh, anyone in Canada haul them yet you know I haven't really been looking at a lot of different hauls as I've been busy but the ones that I did see I didn't see that basket haul and was really hoping that I'd get lucky and come across it but I didn't however I did come across these baskets and I thought these were really really pretty um, they're a nice hard plastic and they did come in a few different colors but I just picked up these ones here um, one in this really pretty blue color and then one in the pink color and they have handles on them I just thought they were really really pretty I picked up these really cute headbands bunny ear headbands and they came in a few different colors I think there was one more color other than what I have here so this one is like a blue this one is green. I picked up a yellow and a pink. So the color is on the inside of the ear, but on the outside it's all white. And these are super, super cute. I also came across some bunny tails. Now last year I made some bunny pillows and I'll post the link to that video in the description box below and at that time they didn't have or at least I didn't see anything like this and so I made the little bunny tail or cotton tail out of some baby 
washcloths and so I did make them different colors um, but this would have worked out really cute too and so the tail it's just on this clip here just like that but really cute so I picked up a couple of those now I never have come across the adorable welcome sign that I seen hauled in the US and it was with the bunny rabbits with the little cotton tails and haven't seen it here in Canada yet I don't know if it ever will make it here but I did come across this adorable gift bag that had the bunnies on them so I might just make this over and um, get my own welcome sign out of this bag I just really love that sign and was hoping you know that it would arrive here in Canada but as I said as of yet I haven't seen it at my Dollar Trees um, but you never know so really cute it has the bunnies on the front and on the back so you can see there's a polka dot the gingham the striped and then another smaller polka dot and then it has the same on the back the bottom is in a purple polka dot and then the sides are the green gingham so really really cute bag and then the last item which was the item that I was most excited about are these adorable different colored speckled eggs and you get six in this carton and I was so excited to see that they made their way to Canada. I did see them hauled in the US and wasn't sure if we would get them, but I did find them today. And these ones here are very, very comparable to the ones at Michael's. And I only saw the one at Michael's um, because I wasn't really going too much and I happened to go um, in the summer and I did see three of these cartons on the shelf and they were reduced very very um, very reduced and I can't remember what the actual price tag was because I took the price tag off but these are the ones from Michaels so as you can see the eggs from the Dollar Tree are actually larger in size and the crate as well is a little bit bigger or the carton not much but definitely the eggs are and then the one from Michaels is a darker carton on the bottom and the one at Michaels had the raffia entwined through the eggs but I mean if you wanted to make this one over it does have raffia on the outside you could just glue it around the eggs you know if you wanted something that looked more like this one here from Michaels but this I was so so happy about and definitely my favorite Dollar Tree find today so that'll do it for my Dollar Tree haul I really hope that you enjoyed this um, possibly there was some items that you haven't seen at your Dollar Tree and you can keep an eye out for if it's something that you'd be interested in purchasing yourself. I always enjoy watching Dollar Tree hauls and I really hope that you all enjoy my hauls as well. If you did enjoy this haul and I so hope you did, please like the video, share the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really hope you do. And as always guys, take care and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye bye.